Uh, tough loss today in this heat and humid conditions. Um, how do you prepare yourself mentally and physically for your doubles match later on? Uh, just go eat some food and watch Steve and John and have fun later. Not, not too stressed about it. I'm, I'm curious what it's like to go against that serve. I know you, you've seen it before, but what is it like? Uh, really annoying. Um, I mean, it's not, I mean, Obviously, it's why he, you know, can be top 30, top 40. Um, it's 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 pretty ridiculous. So, uh, especially on a day like today, you know, it's honestly probably harder to play him on a really hot day like today because the ball jumps even higher. Um, you know, the few break chances I had, I, I even guessed right on a few, and he hit some second serves that almost went over my head on the, I mean, slider serves that are bouncing. You know, I'm a decently tall guy, and they're above my shoulder. So, it's pretty ridiculous sometimes, but yeah, it is what it is. Do you think if if I could ask one more thing, do you think? that he, he's so successful at the age that he's at because of that, sir? I mean, it, is that why he's been able to do this at the age of 37? I mean, yeah. I mean, he's uh, obviously he's probably top three or four in serving stats every year. You know, um, he holds pretty easily most of the time. And if he can get a couple free points on the return, then, you know, the set's usually over. So uh, with that style of tennis, you can play probably until you're a little bit older as opposed to, you know, someone who, who grinds all the time. Obviously, body wears down a little bit more. Um, obviously, he, he's a tough matchup for everybody, um, but he's four and one against you. Is there anything you know particular about the matchup, or is it you know just his big serve that's a problem? I mean, it's a point here and there. I mean, I, we would be playing a third set right now if if he didn't have a you know shank backhand cross court on the line at four two in the breaker probably. So um, it's a point here and there in the first. Um, I was getting it back in the first, and he had the the shank return drop shot. So um, you know stuff like that. If they go his way, you lose the match. If they go your way, you might win the match. So. Uh, what do you see in uh, the next match for either one, if either one of those? I mean, uh, him against Isner. You know, if it's if the ball hits the ground more than once, it's a surprise sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's John and Evo, I would, you know, uh, safe bet would be a few tie breaks. Um, if he plays Stevie, probably the same thing. I mean, um, you know. I mean, I feel like I scrap pretty well and can get a lot of turns back, and I still can't break the guy. So, um, you know, like I, get, like I said, either, no matter who he plays, any round, any tournament, it comes down to a point here and there. And uh, did that yesterday with Bernie, did that today with me, and it'll do that tomorrow with one of these guys. Just out of curiosity, can, can you compare his serve to John's? Or? Uh, his, uh, I don't know, I think. Uh, I think Milos. I think I would say Milos has the best serve um, that I played probably uh, in the world. Um, Evos and Johns are maybe because I've played with John so much, I've practiced them so much, and uh, I've seen it so much. Uh, it might be a little bit easier to read um, toss and stuff. I think they're they're pretty similar though. Evos is Evos is probably a little flatter. Um, I think John's John's angle serves when he puts a cut on them are a lot harder. He can hit a lot shorter in the box and they break away a lot harder. Um, Evos flat serve is just ridiculous you can put it anywhere so pretty similar but John has a little more action on his I think John said yesterday the conditions here favor a big serve strong forehand what are the conditions here that help players like John and Evo uh, I think you saw today like I said I mean when you're hitting second serves over I mean I'm almost 6-3 and I was hitting them above my head slider slider second serves not even kick serves I think that that shows how hot it is and how much the court's bouncing so um, not only does it does does it do that, but a guy like Evo who slices a lot of balls, these courts are some of the fastest hard courts you'll ever play on. So um, it's almost like a perfect blend for him to serve, get up super high, and then slices and balls stay super low and, and cut through the court really well. So pretty. On big points in general, and for example, like on the break points against Evo, is it more frustrating? When it's in your hands and you can't convert, is it more frustrating when he's just blowing aces by you? Uh, I'd probably rather have him ace me than to have it on my racket like I did on the one. I had a four-hand second serve, guessed right, um, hit it okay, just put it um, you know, the top tier of the net, thought I hit a good one. Um, those are probably more frustrating than just having it go right by you.